Hi, welcome to another Lando show. Oh, just a couple days before the year's end. And happy New Year in advance. New Year's Eve is tomorrow. But I want to get down to the facts here. Cable TV versus antenna TV. Well, in a prior video, we've had cable, we've been now living here now for seven years. And at first, Katrina ruined everything. It screwed it all up on our final move. Well, it took Charter Communications two months to come out here to hook up our cable at last. And when they did, I wanted, I, you know, wanted just the internet, internet TV. Or internet connection, high speed internet, duh. Well, they came out here and hooked it up on this pole. And um, he said, are you getting, and he asked me, the cable man asked me, are you getting a, a are you getting a TV signal? I said, yeah. I've been told by two people that you're, you know, in order to have high-speed internet, you can get a, you know, TV signal. Well, I said, okay. So we had basic cable. We had all the, you know, no premiums or anything like that. History Channel, Sci-Fi, Spike TV, which I watched wrestling on. And that's how I got back into watching wrestling. You know, I just glanced at it, glanced at Raw and all that, until Mickey James left again and went to TNA in 2010. Well, five years goes by, and then 2011, May 2011th or somewhere in the spring, some dickwad comes out here. As he's unhooking, here goes my brother. I don't know where the fuck he's going today. He's going to wear out my mother's car because he can't stay in, this, stay in the house for long. He comes out there and and does an audit or some shit up there and then puts a block on our TV signal. I said, what are you doing? Well, you've been getting a TV signal and been having, you know, we haven't been paying for a TV signal. All those years we've had a charter TV signal and they waited five years to block the fucking thing. So, I said, well, fine, man, you know, why are the dickwads going to come out here and you know, block my TV signal. I was pissed because I couldn't get TNA or Spike TV anymore. So, neighbor man was kind enough to give me a digital antenna. Or his, because he was moving out of that house and he was going to get direct TV. So, the benefits from antenna TV than basic cable, see, because my folks next door for two boxes, they got two cable boxes in there. They're paying $74 a month for basic cable, charter, a.k.a. charger. That's ridiculous. Well, the benefits of antenna TV. See, there's the antenna right there. I have to aim it. We're 50 miles away from there. Of course, it's picking up an antenna signal, a tower signal. I'm on it. What's that? Oh, just two games. See, he's play he has to play games. But he's got the he's got the good old PS PS3. I'm gonna go run errands, so I don't have to go at all tomorrow. Well, I'll be doing them tomorrow anyway. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. I'm gonna I'm gonna get champagne and all that good stuff. I might pick up some. Well, there was that. Just that save Bud it Light. for tomorrow. I I had that Bud Light that was over there in the fridge, so I might I might grab like some something else. Okay. There's a big that big fireworks tent. Why don't you be? <laughs> I got. I'm getting a bunch of fireworks. <laughs> no, I'm going tomorrow, and I'm going to get some champagne and God knows what. Well, anyway, back to my story here. See, he he's got his PS3, so he's set right there, and I got my computer with the high speed internet. And even though on a PS3 you can go ahead and. With the with the wireless router, he's got an antenna he can pick up the cable on. You know my wireless uh, wireless router. Well, anyway, folks, the benefits of antenna TV. And here comes Mr. Speed Freak again. Now you better slow down. Yeah. And there goes Mr. Mad Motorcycle Man who likes to roar up and down the street. Yeah. It's him and two other bikes. Yeah, run into my mom's car and see what you get. Or my brother and mom's car. 
Oh, it's crazy around here. <laughs> oh, come on. Roar up and down one, idiot. Okay, as I was so rudely interrupted again, the benefits of antenna TV, folks. Hey, for one, it's free. When they went to from analog to digital and what, right, um, back in 209, it's really cool. The down part is, like I said, it picks up a, it, it takes, picks up a tower and not a satellite dish because it's local. Cable, well, it's a cable hooked up to a freaking a big satellite dish. That's all it is, and you're sharing the goddamn signal with hundreds of other people along a fucking line. Something goes wrong with your with that line, whether it's here or down the street with those other people, you lose the signal. Satellite dish network, well, I heard if it rains, man, you lose signal. I think it's bullshit to pay $74, $75 a month to watch goddamn commercials because that's what you're doing with fucking basic cable. That's ridiculous. All right, now it's scanning. Like a police scanner I have, you know, I love antennas. I love what they, they're able to pick up because sometimes the downside to it Sun spots or sun rays block out antenna signals. But at night time, I can pick up a lot of shit. See? Digital signals found or di la. God dang. Digital, digital channels found. Eight. On average, it will pick up dirty. And I'll tell you why. Look at that. <laughs> Analog, it's never going to pick those up again. Because it's gone. But this has a built-in digital. It's not a flat screen. It's not an LCD screen. It's kind of old school TV. But I'm just showing. I, I'm, I'm just stressing. Cable. You know, basic cable like Charter. Maybe Cox or whoever. You just get basic channels like History, Discovery. And you're paying them for commercial TV. Well, when cable first came out... Wasn't that the reason to get cable? So we wouldn't have to watch commercials anymore? Like HBO, Nickelodeon didn't show any commercials when they first aired 30 years ago. Then they, there was one commercial. Then one turned to two. Then three. What's the matter? The cable fucking fees are not good enough a month? Is it the worst part of greed in the world? See, now it's got 28 channels it found. Now, the benefits... Picking up a local channel, 2.1, WBRZ, that's in Baton Rouge. Now, on basic cable, you get that, but you don't get this. This is their second channel, 2.2, News Baton Rouge. They show an encore. Three, you get a weather channel, 24-7 weather channel, Baton Rouge. Picking up 4.1 out of New Orleans. That's WWL. Also get that on charters um, with basic cable. Paying for that. But you don't get this. A secondary channel, live well, a third channel. Well, now it jumps over. Some, see, some, the downside, as I said, it won't pick it up all the way unless I were to raise the antenna up or if I were to get a, like an amplifier for it, which is no problem. We're getting a good game here. It's Fox News, Fox 8 out of New Orleans. Then you get 8.2. This you do not get on basic cable unless you pay for it. But look how the, the picture on it's real crisp and clear. It's in HD. Now when I had basic cable in here, Charter's basic cable, it was in HD and it came in real snowy, like an analog signal. This is all digital signal, man, and it's really cool. Now here's something really good. Weather Nation, 20.2 out of New Orleans. Eat your fucking heart. That's another thing. Weather Channel. It says, ever since NBC took over the Weather Channel, it's gone to shit. They show more reality shows like ice stories and all that crap than they do weather. Now here is like Weather Channel all over again when it first came out. They show nothing but weather. Weather Nation. And I love it. It just came out on here a few weeks ago. And it's kick-ass, or not even that long, a couple of weeks. And 
It's just like the Weather Channel was years ago. Plus, they don't have that stupid winter storm naming. I'm just stressing, folks, that cable has gone to shit. They rip you off. Charter doesn't give a fuck about us. They don't call me up and inform me and say, hey, look, you have been receiving a signal on your TV, you know, this whole time. And I didn't know about it. I didn't know that I was supposed to pay Charter Extra to have that damn signal. The gentleman that came out, as I said, and hooked us up said, are you getting a TV signal? I said, yes. So I assumed, I didn't ask, that that went with the, along with, that came with the payment of $44 a month that I'm paying for the high-speed internet with the antenna TV, you know, with basic cable. With no box, of course. But it's the power of greed. You see what it is? It's a monopoly. There's no other rival cable companies out here to compete with Charter. It's only Charter out here. So Charter, you need to stop the fucking greed. Or some, It's going to bite you in the ass. I can't stress how many times and headaches and frustrations I've had with Charter in the past. But they're not going to take my TV, antenna TV away. I love it. Folks, go to antenna TV. Trust me, it's worth it. And if they make ever make us pay for it, all these wonderful channels, we need to stand up and protest. Stop the fucking greed! Till next time.